Well, uh, I'm really excited for our guys because, you know, I think they, they finally have um, got some confidence on the defensive end. I, I think it starts with Deshaun, uh, especially, uh, you know, because your defense starts at the point. And we have realized that more than any this year, you know, because uh, from Casper to, uh, to uh, Kathy to, to Bivens, we've always been able to control the ball at, at the front. And we've struggled with that this year. And, and Deshaun has worked really hard uh, and we worked hard on on those high on balls, and it, it's really paying off. I, you know, he he got two fouls in the first half that he would have never got, uh, you know, two weeks ago, a month ago, because you know he he's play, he's ag aggressive and dictating on the defensive end, and you you know that's going to happen when you're when you're uh, doing that. But uh, I just thought uh, the first half we really set a tone, starting the game with uh, six straight stops. Uh, we, you know, we, and, and again, we didn't we didn't start well offensively. But if you start the game with six straight stops, you're going to be uh, you're going to be fine. And uh, uh, I thought we rebounded well. I thought we defended well. Uh, I do still think you know to be a champion, you've got to play the next play a little bit better and, and not play the scoreboard in the second half. But to be honest with you, we haven't had a lot of 20 point leads this year to practice that. So hopefully that was a good uh, opportunity for us to. To understand that, uh, uh, again, we didn't hold them to as many uh, to, to less points in the second half like we'd like to, but uh, kept them at 32 the second half. So that was a great start, and what a great uh, uh, crowd and uh, tribute to those three seniors. I just uh, uh, they're three great people, uh, first and foremost, and uh, they've been uh, very coachable and great guys to 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 be in the program and represent our program. So. Uh, I was really happy that they could go out the right way. All right, well, we'll have a question for Coach and Gabe and Deshaun. Uh, Coach, you know, besides the bad box, how did your team just play with a little bit more swagger tonight? Did that come a little bit off of what happened on Thursday night? Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, again, when you're defending better, the, 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 it's not so, you don't get so frustrated uh, if something goes wrong on the offensive end. I mean, we scored. Uh, uh, 22 points off of turnovers today. I mean, uh, you know, off, so that's off of our defense. So uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good number. And we're keeping, you know, they had eight points and a half in the paint. Uh, they ended up with 30, which was too much, you know. And that's we got a little spread out the second half. But, but uh, uh, I really think, you know, you come off a win like that, and you hope uh, to catch momentum. Uh, and one game can do that. It just takes a spark to start a fire. And uh, uh, I saw. Uh, after Deshaun went coast to coast, uh, I saw a fire in our locker room after that game and, uh, and a, a hop in our step that we haven't had all year and uh, at the right time of the year. Uh, it's March and uh, I think you know, we're playing our best basketball and that's your goal when you start the season. No, coach, how are you trying to keep that fire going for the tournament? Just ride them hard. No, <laughs> uh, I, I think I think you just got to keep showing them that it, what what working works. What we're doing is working, and I think they're starting to get confidence in in our game plan and, and, and our approach uh, of what we're trying to do. And uh, and it's continual uh, uh, coaching is to keep that that's that spark going. And that you know we'll we'll probably go a little light on Monday and have two great practices on Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, again, we want to stay uh, sharp, but uh, and we can. The great thing about this team, I said, we played our best game of the year on Thursday, but we can play better than that. We can play better today, and and the first half I think was better than either half on on Thursday. Um, and uh, so, you know, that that's the thing about this team. It's we're, we it's it's taken us a long time to to get where we want to be, but it's not too late. Uh, it's it's a perfect time and. Uh, if we play better than this, if we play better next week than we did this week, uh, I like our chances. Let's talk, let's not talk to Gabe because this is the last time Gabe has to do this in here, but I've got to do this uh, hopefully for a few more years. <laughs> uh, Gabe, now you've been on a long journey. You've been through a lot. Did tonight go the way you wanted it to? Exactly the way I wanted to. Um, I'm so thankful and grateful to be here and, you know, um, so much support from everybody um and it's been great and then also you know basketball wise the ball just moved to the open guy and that's that's how we should play and that's um it's a great way to play it's a fun way to play and uh, i'm glad that happened um if 
Sean, the coach, I, uh, the question I asked Coach Dino about playing a little bit more swagger, I, I saw that expression in you, and not just today and not just in your football game, but just as the season has gone along. Have you felt that too, that just more comfortable you got just the, just the better you got on the floor? Uh, yeah, most definitely. Uh, the coaches have been riding me hard all year, and everything they've been riding me on is starting to make a, a little bit more sense, so I can play with a little bit more swag. <laughs> but it's definitely He's stubborn. He's, he hasn't been playing like this all year. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's another level of uh, competitiveness, you know, everybody, every, everybody's going to give you your best shot no matter what. Um, and we're trending in the right direction at the right time, so I'm very confident in this group. Um, Coach, same question. I mean, you've, you've been through the battles in that building. What, what, what do you take? Well, it takes consistency, and that's been a, a key uh, problem for us, you know. And even today, you know, we weren't consistent in the second half on doing our jobs. and. You know, as I'll remind them uh, all next week, you're, you're one bad four-minute stretch of your season being over. You know, you, you just, if you come out of one timeout and, you, and, and let somebody go on a run, uh, you know, it can, it can cost you your season. Uh, but that, that being said, I'm also going to remind them, this week we've been more consistent than we have all year. And, uh, you know, we, we got another level to go. But, uh, you know, we've been a 20-minute a, a, a game team, and I think we got up to, you know, 30 minutes of, of pretty good basketball both games this week and uh, you know next week it's time to put it all together and and have three 40 minute games and uh, you know it's 120 minutes of, of basketball that's two hours uh, of their life that can be uh, the most special two hours athletically uh, of it and we're gonna we're gonna leave it all out there and, and I, I, I really uh, I, I'm not a cocky arrogant uh, I'm, I'm usually Dr. Doom but I really uh, I'm confident these guys are going to play well next week. All right. Thank you, everybody. Yep. Thank you. Sure.